Bill's day off. First time that I really had a day off in two weeks. The week before was the when I was sick, and that was the day when I had all my groceries getting delivered and everything. Um, and then I ended up doing a, a night stream instead. <clears throat> you know, I didn't really have a real day off for two weeks. So this was <clears throat> my first day off in a couple of weeks, and thankfully, I did not have to do too much in regards to. Um, like errands and things like that. Like a lot of these days off, I have to run around, I have to do appointments, I have to do a bunch of things, I have to cram them all to the same day. In this case, I really only had grocery store and pet supplies, and that was it. So it wasn't a huge deal. After last week's debacle ordering groceries and having to pay extra money to have them delivered, only to have them be delivered super late and everything, I was not doing that this week. I said, I'm going to the grocery store to buy stuff. And it made sense too, because this week, my wife wants to try out a couple of recipes that either she hasn't done in a very long time or like a new one. Like for example, she has she makes this really good Japanese curry. And we used to have it all the time. And then we haven't had it in like, I'm serious, like a year. And all of a sudden we're like, dude, let's do the Japanese curry. Like that's so, such a good dish. So we, I had to get those ingredients. I'm like, well, I want to see what they got there and pick from the shelves rather than me trying to guess online what they're going to have and try to order and deliver. Um, and get this. Today, we are doing homemade deluxe baked nachos for dinner. Dinner nacho. It's just listen to this. First of all, rather than a fatty bad meat, we're going to do ground turkey that's going to be seasoned and fried up with some like taco flavor seasoning. All right. And in it, it's going to have Olives, jalapeno, pickle jalapeno, pico de gallo, queso, plus some Mexican blend cheese. Um, oh, refried beans, okay? All over this, these. I bought a giant bag of restaurant quality tortilla chips. And then we're gonna have like sour cream on the side and stuff to dip it in too. So I was like, this, we love nachos. But, you know, we don't really order them that often. We're like, why don't we make our own? And this way we can pick the ingredients that we want, right? But that's what I mean, like having to go, go into the supermarket and picking these ingredients out while I was there versus guessing what they're going to have, trying to order online, and then getting a bunch of substitutions or, you know, it's much better that way. So this should be pretty fun today if she does make them because I think she said she wanted to make them for dinner today. It would be a good way to reward myself after a, uh, my first ever session of Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Have some homemade baked nachos. Should be pretty good. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so, you know, that's pretty much what I did with, you know, with the grocery shop. And we needed some pet stuff for Jasper and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and we did manage to get Like a Dragon Gaiden. It did show up on Game Pass yesterday. It was so weird that it never showed up for preload. Ever. It only showed up once it was live and available on Game Pass. Then... You could download it, but it was never, like, available beforehand to preload. <clears throat> so we did load it, but then my wife ended up not really feeling like playing it yesterday, so uh, I didn't get spoiled or anything on the game. Um, we ended up watching a lot of uh, someone else playing Alan Wake 2. And let me tell you guys something, and we'll talk about this because I want to give you my final thoughts on the game. But the whole point of Alan Wake 2, all right, is that there's two protagonists, and you can switch between them on the fly and when you do that it creates variety and it makes the game better all right we're watching someone who literally they claimed they were going to do that and then they proceeded to play with one of the characters only for like 10 hours and it makes the game so fucking boring because you're doing the same gameplay over and over and over with no variety and it makes it feel very boring and i was thinking in my head <coughs> you know <coughs> That's exactly why Alan Wake 1 wasn't as good. Because in Alan Wake 1, you're just playing as Alan Wake. 
It's one style of gameplay. There's no variety to it. And once you get halfway through the game and you realize this is the whole game, you get bored. With Alan Wake 2, because you have the two protagonists and because you can swap between them, that's really where it excels, in my opinion. So what's weird about that is why would you choose not to switch when it's a gameplay mechanic that's in there, right? So we're watching this guy play, and he's just, like, not switching. And we're like, this is going to be so boring. He just keeps doing the same thing over and over. Why? I don't understand. <clears throat> I don't know. And it's funny because, again, so many people criticize my playthroughs, right? And they say that my playthroughs suck. And then I watch these other people. I'm like, these are way worse than mine. They, they really don't try to make their playthroughs interesting in any way. <laughs> they, 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 imagine if I played Alan Wake 2 and I literally just played with Saga the entire fucking game and never swapped. Wow, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be fun gameplay? Wouldn't you be bored to tears? So, anyway. um, So that's really my day off.